Uh, here we go. Hey, I got something new. I open this. Book. Of course, you know I should be ready. I should open these things before I, you know, try 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 to start talking to people. Anyway, um, we're going to talk about today something or another. <laughs> if I could only. Oh, I know. Just a second. Relax. I know. I know. It's a tooth thing. I know. I know. Well, brother, why don't you just stop and start all over again? Because I'm not. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Relax. Relax. Okay. What did I get? There's some. You know these things. This is a tea. A, a tea. Tionic. A tionic. And it's a, I love my brain. It's supposed to be good for the brain stuff, you know. I got some other pills supposed to be good for the brain too. Anyways, I should, anyway. Uh, so I love my brain. And this is uh, a tea equals into whatever that is. Herbal tea tonic, lemongrass and ginger. What is good for a brain? I like lemongrass. I like ginger. Calories, no, I'm not worried about calories. It says here. Total fat, nothing. Sodium, what's that? Nothing. Carbs, nothing. Pro, I don't know, whatever. Nothing's in here, just tea. Okay, lemongrass. So, hey, let's try it. Hey, 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 hey. I'll put all in just in case I don't like it. Let's see. It's tea. It's a little different. Yeah, it tastes like it's medicine. Hey, in fact, since that's a brain stuff, can I get some brain food here? Thing? What is this stuff here? Is that thing? Is that? What's this? Uh, what's my syrup pep taste? Higher thoughts. Take one of these higher thoughts. See if I'll have higher thoughts if I take this. I took my other pills this morning anyway. Okay. Mmm. So I saw, um, with my sister, I saw um, uh, The Five Bloods last night, right? Now, can I say this? Man. My sister is just like my wife. They think they come from the same whatever, you know what I mean? I can't, st well, you know, we, we, when you have your home thing and you're sitting there and they're like, they, well, what happened there? What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm going, see, I'm a film guy. What I do is I concentrate. I want no distractions, and everything happens. And that's why, that's why you like theaters. But now that when they would have the social distance, become really good. I mean, I just like theaters because, but even the people reacting, that's good. But if somebody's having, well, how can we? As I'm going, like, didn't you see like 20 minutes ago? Da, 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 da. Anyway, don't worry about that stuff. So we went to the movie. Went through the movie. It was it was good. You know, it was, it was good. See, but, um, Spike and this. I mean, I don't want to say, anything, but. The movie is for basically for veterans. I'm a veteran, but there's two things I do want to bring out. Um, one, the whole thing, the whole thing with with um, um, well, the Storm and Norman character played by Chadwick Boseman, who we know as Black Panther, but he is the person in the in the you know in their squadron that had the black consciousness, like Black Panther consciousness. Get it? That's kind of that was good. Hey, Spy, hmm, thank you for that. Uh, but there's another. Uh, but let me know. Get. To, I want to see the movie. See the. See the. See, see it. Or sit down. You know. Don't sit down. with people are gonna say, wait, wait, wait. What did that happen? Because it's a Spike Lee movie. You got to sort of fill in the blanks. You know what I mean? But the whole thing is about this. That PSD. P. What is? How do you say that? PTSD. Uh, I don't have. But my sister actually she's a nurse. And she works. In, you know. She works in VA. Whatever. And she can tell you that. She said, Oh. He's he's a he, he's typical, but there's one that's much worse and like that. So the P, the thing is real, and plus you know, and PSC is a war situation. So you have to understand, black people just being in the war zone of wherever you know the cops, whoever, whoever you know, you're in the war zone. So you got to have some post traumatic whoever syndrome, whether it's whether it's slave system, urban urban thing, or you know whatever like that. But I but I wanted to say something just interesting because I was in you know the war. The movie is great for veterans, okay? I'm a veteran, but I'm not the kind of veteran like that is. Um, in fact, let me just give you a thing here. Uh, when I went into, I went into the Air Force because at the time, you know, I knew, so I was very conscious. I knew about everything. I knew about the war. I knew everything like that. The fact that I would even go into the service kind of strange to people, you know what I mean? But I just slipped in 
And I said, I want to do my time and slip out. And I did the Air Force because the Air Force mission was to keep them flying. You wasn't. Army was fodder. The Marines, they were going there to kill. The Navy, ah, whatever the Navy was. So, you know, in fact, most of the time when people were into, into the Army and they realized what was going on, you was fodder. That's why you had a lot of people going to Green Parades and stuff like that. But, uh, okay, okay. So the Air Force kept them flying. So I was, I was a medic. I said, let me share my... my I, 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 got, I looked at this stuff. Uh, here from Blackland, um... Uh, I was uh, I was detailed to become an aeromedical specialist. Yeah, approximately six weeks, five days training. You know, so what they sent me up to from Lackland. I was supposed to go up. I went up to Shepherd, I guess. But here's some of the people. I don't remember any of these people. Okay, so so I was supposed to be aeromedical specialist. This is dated February seventeenth, uh, nineteen seventy. Means I had I went to Air Force like a month before. So but basically, as oh, oh, this gives me out of basic training. You know what I mean? I had an easy time at basic training because I was in a cadet course. All that stuff was just nothing. I was military. I was like military minded, you know. Hey, they go, hey, da, da, da. I was military minded and all that sort of stuff. So that was easy. And the physical stuff, <clears throat> what I did do was very strategic. I somehow I figured this stuff out. But I was a I was a good runner. You know what I mean? You know, fast. You know, whatever. And so when they had the, the running thing, I made sure I only came in second. I would never come in first. That's smarter than you think. Okay. I went to Shepherd, and as Shepherd, I was supposed to be uh, the fellow, da 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 da. Uh, it was supposed to be air medical specialist, right? But then they called somewhere, this is February, da, 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 somewhere, what is this date? Oh, March 1970, right? So we was uh, February 27th, yes, orders were February 20, 26th of February, some orders were given. Remember, I was supposed to be air medical specialist, right? And they took a bunch of us. They said the following, whoever people uh, are confirmed, detailed to attend a medical lab specialist thing. So what happened? Well, I'm looking at the names like Daniel Cashel. There was this, he was this, uh, 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 he was this, <laughs> he was this crazy Mexican. Anyway, I want to say it like that. But you know, I see Keith Deck. I don't remember any of these, any of these people. Just Castro for some reason. Oh, I, I know why. Anyway, so we were all detailed to become. We was we were taken from like I was supposed to be air medical specialist, like a flying nurse. Well, they take they took us from there and and they said we was going to go to lab school. It was kind of strange, but what it was was there was a lot of upheaval in the in the, in, the, in the urban communities or in the cities, right? And it was like the NWCB, you know, they were saying no, the, these people are going to the air force. You keep on getting them the black people, you know, you know, bad, bad jobs. So we wanted them to have better jobs. Air medical, um, so air medical specialist is a basic like a nurse, but a lab technician. It's like a six month school or whatever school. That's a long school, which means that it was a really good job. So they became, it was because of the upheavals in the city. That's what I'm trying to say. So all the stuff that's happening, right? The upheavals that's happening in all these cities, there's going to be some some stuff happening. Oh, gosh, here's my sister again. Man, they, they, they talk a lot. Okay. So, anyway, here's where I got promoted. Uh, okay. Great, great, great. Then let me just, let me just skip. Let me just skip. This is, oh, this is interesting. Uh, oh wait, this is orders for the people that went. Well, we went to um, we went together to the air medical specialist thing. Is this the one? I don't know which one. Or the don't remember that. Anyway, we uh, Collins, Sloan, Simmons. Anyway, uh, so Medi it, 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 it Wright Patterson. This is my certificate. The kid, uh, medical. Medical Laboratory Specialist Training Phase 2. Oh, this is my Phase 2 training. I guess I passed that. Anyway, do, 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 do. So I became a medical specialist. Okay. So, but you, but the whole thing is, um, uh, for a while, you know, for a while, really, because I never, I went from there to McGuire, my thing from McGuire Air Force Base, so I never left the States. Okay. It's like three classifications of folks uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in during the Vietnam era at that time. You know, you had the people who, Stayed in the States for some reason, like me, right? Yeah, the people that went overseas, they were like in Germany. Oh, better. Oh, gosh. Here they go. I got to Hold on a second. Oh, man. This is going to be a thing. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Always, I always pick, they're not here, then they appear. My goodness, okay. I want to get through with this. So, there was this thing. So, so some people were in the states, some people uh, uh were like 
like say they went like Philippines or Germany or something like that. And some people went in, you know, in country, they went, you know, into Vietnam fighting. Now for a long time, I had, I won't say guilt, but I had this weird thing about it. But then I, I realized, well, if they sent me to Vietnam, I had to be in an air conditioned tent anyway. But if you was in Vietnam, in that, during that period, Agent Orange, Agent Orange, very bad, very bad for you, you know? They were the, the whole, who the, Look, Monsanto, like Monsanto killed all the weeds, or well, Agent Orange, I guess the same, same company, DuPont, whatever, they kill all the, all the vegetation, but it also got into you like that. In fact, when I got out of the Air Force, when I went, uh, when I finally got my, my when I went back to, when I went to college, went back to college, and I had my radio program, Variations in Black, because I did, I, I did um, public service cards, just, you know, uh, 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 announcements talking about Agent Orange. This is the number, I had no military uh, backing, nobody does not pay, this was just, that's just something I did, whatever. So, but the uh, the film is really interesting because Spike right now, for me, Spike is, is getting to this point where he's really mixing, you know, documentary and, you know, and, and well, storytelling, whatever you want to call it, fiction, whatever, creativity together. And this is really a good example of that. And in a timely manner, whatever have you. So it's, re it's really, really good. So if you get a chance, right, and you don't have people rapping in your ear, whatever, whatever uh, I would suggest you actually go to a, go with a military buddy, you know, because mm, you need to talk about this. It's like therapy. It's a good therapy. So thanks, Spike. Appreciate it. What's up? Oh, I appreciate meeting me, T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Power to the peoples.